Hey everybody, Brett here with uh, day 62 of my carnivore diet journey. Um, and today I woke up heavier. <laughs> um, it happens, it goes up and down. We know this, we're okay with this. Um, but as I've said before, I like to weigh myself every single day um, because it tells me if I've really screwed up or not, right? And so... Um, yesterday, Friday, I know that I ate wisps. I had talked about this, um, and I've, uh, mentioned to my wife that I don't really think I want to have them in the house anymore, unless she really wants them. Um, because they were a snacky item. So yesterday I came upstairs and I wanted to eat something. So I grabbed the wisps, and next thing I know, the bag was empty. So... Um, that's, that's one of my old habits. One of the things that I used to do, just grab, grab a bag of something and eat them all. Or with like the, um, the small, you know, call them lunch bag size, potato chips and Fritos and things like that. I'd be like, oh, it's just a small bag. I'll grab four of them. And I just chow four of them down. So I know that that's a problem for me. Um, so I need to stay away from it. Um, and that meant I was heavy today. Now tomorrow, I'm theoretically thinking I'm going to be lighter, but that is not because I ate better or worse. It's because I really didn't drink a whole lot of water today. Uh, I realized this about an hour and a half ago that I had not drank enough water. So, um, in the last hour and a half, I've drank, um, about one and a half of my 26 ounce bottles, which doesn't bring me up enough but it's gonna bring me up some uh, I have the other half ounce or half bottle in my um, my bedroom down the hall uh, so I'll be drinking that before I go to sleep tonight but that's another thing that throws your weight up and down right did you drink the same amount of water or not right if you're drinking water consistent and you're gonna be pretty consistent but if you uh, do like I did today right I got up this morning Real early, got up at 5 o'clock and was out the door driving down the road by 6 a.m. Uh, to go down to southern Colorado and pick up some foster dogs. Um, I took a coffee with me. And so I drank the coffee and I finished the coffee when I was just before I got there. That was about two and a half hour drive down. Um, got the pups and then two and a half hour drives back with no water. Immediately jumped in the shower, got cleaned up so that I could go to my Elks event. Um, did my Elks event, came home, picked up my dad, and then went to the reception where I had like a glass of water, like a, a, a pint-sized glass of water. So that was the first water I drank all day. And then um, we went to dinner. Uh, new restaurant opened up, uh, Tag Burger Bar. It's actually, uh, there used to be a Tag Burger Bar, and now there is one again. Um, and this one is in Central Park neighborhood of uh, Denver, up near Havana and MLK Boulevard. So check it out. It's amazing. They have great, 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 great food. Um, I had a sirloin. So I had a Tolia. Eight ounce sirloin though, um, so it wasn't a ton of food, um, but had a big primer last night, twenty ounces. Uh, didn't eat any breakfast this morning. Had my eight ounce sirloin. Uh, at the reception, I did have two small or three small pieces of cheese. Uh, two two little wedges of smoked gouda and a wedge of. Uh, the turnip pepper jack. Um, yes, there's peppers in there. So as I'm eating it and consuming it, I realized, oh, I ate some peppers in this. We'll be okay. Um, so I did that. And then uh, we were at the restaurant. I got the, the top or the, the eight ounce sirloin. It was okay. Um, but it had um, a lot of salt and pepper and, and a lot of pepper on it. Um, 
and then I believe the butter was like a garlic butter. So uh, a little bit of stuff on there that I don't necessarily want. Uh, it's my wife's company. I didn't want to be that guy with her there. So um, I just kind of let it go. It, it tasted okay, but my stomach was definitely not sitting right after I ate it. So um, definitely something to be considerate of. Um, Somebody said in the comment yesterday, you know, the the cheat day isn't worth it. And this wasn't a cheat day for me. Um, my wife did have a little off diet stuff. She did, uh, uh, had a few French fries. Um, and there was some, uh, like regular hand cut fries. And then there was some loaded French fries, loaded steak fries were basically like mini baked potatoes um and she had one of those too right so she had a little bit extra um she had a drink um which is fine I'm, i have no issues with drinks but hers was like a cocktail so there was some some other stuff in it but that's her diet there was another thing for 1k dexters like it's her diet it's not my diet my diet and hers are different she needs to be on her own path, her own journey, and I need to be okay with it. But when she asks me, is this okay, I'm going to tell her, probably not. But, uh, but it's up to her. She, she doesn't, have to, doesn't have to listen to me. She's been proving that for 30 years. So, um, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was a good time at the restaurant. I had good food. Uh, kids all enjoyed their meals. My dad enjoyed his when... That's kind of the most important part for me. But we'll uh, we'll see how my numbers turn out tomorrow morning. Like I said, didn't eat very much today because that eight ounce today was almost all of it. I had um, probably like six pork rinds tonight for dinner. And then I did have some more wisps tonight. But I only had a, um, like a handful of wisps. Uh, and I closed the bag and, and walked away. I didn't take the bag with me, which was the problem. That was probably the problem on Friday, is I took the bag downstairs to my office and just chowed the bag. So, not going to do that again. But, um, in general, today was a good day. Um, I need to figure out how to be more clean and more consistent. Uh, stick to my plans 100%. Because if I want to hit my goal of 260 uh, by June 22nd, I need to start losing a little bit more weight. So um, I feel great. Um, I My face is definitely thinner. My clothes are fitting better. My sport jacket that I had altered to fit me uh, about a year ago is now a little bit too big. Um, I wore it today for my, my Elks event and... Uh, uh, I, I, you know, like it, like flap one down, flap the other down. And I was like, wow, this is, it's big, um, which was great. Wore pants that I have not worn in quite some time. Um, and that was, wore them comfortably. It wasn't like I put them on and kind of grinned and bared it while they buttoned them up. They actually fit. So... That was, that was all good, right? And that's, you know, something that I know, something a lot of people like to point out to me is that, you know, don't worry about the scale, worry about how your clothes fit, worry about how you feel, worry about all these other things. And, and that's great. I, uh, I'm doing those things, but the, uh, the weight is a, is a very important factor for me. And there's just, there's no way around that. So I'm going to continue to try and figure out a way to be a little bit more clean, a little bit more consistent. Um, and I think I've said this a couple times, but I haven't done it. I need to start tracking my actual food again because I'm at a point now where I'm, I'm fat adapted. Uh, I'm in ketosis essentially every day. Um, and I'm not cheating um, I'm not eating foods 
that aren't aligned to the carnivine diet. I'm example of the wisp, which is just 100% cheese. I'm eating a little bit too much of that. So I need to get my food tracking back again so that I can monitor my actual calories in that so that I'm just not eating too much because that's another problem I had is just eating too much and I gotta I gotta get away from that I can't just say hey it's 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 ribeye so I can eat a ton of it and then I eat a 20 ounce ribeye um, or prime rib as the case was last night so I need to be a little bit better about that in order to get to the goals that I want to get to uh, I want to make these these pants that I'm wearing right now that are my older pants that fit again um, I want to make these pants big so in order to do that I got to be consistent I got to be clean I got to set my plan and work my plan so that's what I'm going to do that's uh that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys tonight I will talk to you tomorrow.